In this lesson, we're going to review three problems from your homework from chapter 9.5a and graphing and writing equations of hyperbolas. All of these problems are going to involve hyperbolas that are uh, centered around the origin or have its center at the origin. All right, so the first thing we need to do is take a look at the equation. We know it's a hyperbola versus an ellipse because we have a negative value and one positive value. Also, we have both variables squared. So it's either going to be an ellipse or a hyperbola. We know it's hyperbola because of this negative value. Second thing we need to do is figure out where it's centered. Uh, and we can see based on the fact that there's no translation in the numerator that the uh, equation is going to be centered at the origin. Also, I think I told you at the beginning that these are all centered on the origin. Next step is to identify the correct equation that is associated with this particular formula that's associated with this particular uh, hyperbola. And we recall that it's going to be x minus h squared uh, minus y minus k squared over a squared minus b squared. And that's going to equal 1. Okay, so we know our a value is going to be, this is a 9, our a value is going to be plus or minus 3. Now, uh, we also know that because the uh, variable that contains the x value is positive, we know that we have a transverse axis that is horizontal. So when I count out my a values, I'm going to count it out from the center. In this case, again, it's at the origin. So I count out three units to the left. I mark one of the vertices, three units to the right. I mark off my second uh, vertex. Okay, so I know the transverse axis runs this way. Um, I know the center of the hyperbola is here. Next step really is for us, since there's no translations of the center, is to identify our asymptotes. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to determine what the slope is at the center, both positive and negative, and draw our points, and then draw a line through our points. So if you recall the formula for the slope uh, for a horizontal transverse axis is going to be plus or minus b over a. In this case, we know that b squared is 4, so b has to be 2. And we know that a is 3. So from the center, so our slope is going to be plus or minus 2 over 3. From the center, all we need to do is count up. Uh, we need to count up 2 points, or 2 units, and then over 3. Count up 2 and over 3 to the left. Count down 2 units and over 3, and count down and to the right 3. So now I have all the points that I need to to create my uh, asymptotes, and that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to create my asymptote through this line, through these two points, and through the center. So the asymptote is going to go through the center of the hyperbola. And then I have the framework now for my hyperbola. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my hyperbola. Let's make it in black. And I know that the hyperbola will never, the branches will never touch the asymptotes. So it looks something like this. And then the last step is to identify my foci, or my focus, and the internal portion of the parabola. And if you recall the equation for the c value, which is the distance from the center to the focus, is going to be a squared plus b squared. So recall that this is a minus, a minus b squared, a squared minus b squared, for the c value when you're talking about an ellipse. But when it's a uh, hyperbola, it's going to be uh, a positive sign. Also, just as far as memorization is concerned, you always know that with a hyperbola here in the formula for the hyperbola, this value is going to be negative, and this value is going to be positive for the ellipse. This value is going to be x squared plus y squared. And then you find out the c squared value by taking the difference between a squared and b squared. So I set up my equation, c squared is equal to a squared, which is 9, minus uh, b squared, which is 4. So I get c squared is equal to 5, or c is equal to plus or minus the square root of 5. So we're going to say that uh, that is going to be, uh, I'm sorry, plus, plus or minus, excuse me. I'm thinking about an ellipse. Plus or minus the square root of 13. So we're going to say that that's approximately 3 and a half. Um, so I'll draw my fourth 
uh, unit here, and it's three and a half units from the center along the transverse axis. So I have three and a half uh, units. I mark off both of my foci here and here, and I will label them uh, as minus root 13, 0, and uh, this one is going to be plus root 13, 0. And I'm done. So let's move on to the next problem. In number 8, we're asked to do something similar. Graph the equation, identify the vertices, foci, and asymptotes of the hyperbola. So again, we understand that our formula uh, x minus h squared minus y minus k squared over a squared uh, in the denominator minus b squared in the uh, denominator of the y value. So I know that my a value is going to be a value is going to be plus or minus 7. My b value is going to be plus or minus 8. And then my c value is going to be the sum of these two, which is uh, the square root of uh, the square root of the sum of these two values, which is going to be the square root of 113 plus or minus. Okay, so I have my a, b, and c values, and recall from the prior slide that c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared for parabolas. So first thing I do, I identify my transverse axis. We know it's going to be horizontal. Uh, because the x squared value is a uh, positive one. I'm going to mark off seven units from the center of my parab or hyperbola, which happens to be at the origin in this case, but doesn't always have to be. Uh, so here I have my two vertices, and I have my center here, and I'm going to mark off my b value, which is not necessary in this case but we'll do it anyway, my b value. And then uh, I'm going to mark off my asymptotes. Okay, so the slope is going to be, in this case, again, plus or minus b over a. So I have plus or minus uh, 60, plus or minus, uh, it's going to be 8 over 7. So plus or minus 8 squared of 64 would give me my b value. Uh, and the a value would be the square root plus or minus the square root of 49. So now I'm going to mark off my uh, asymptotes. So I'm going to go 8 up, again, because this is the change in y. This is the change in x. So I'm going to go 8 up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 7 over. Uh, 8 up and 7 over to the left. 8 down and 7 over to the right. And then here in this equation, I have my final point. Now I'm going to draw my asymptotes and the lines that run through these will look something like this and this of course they run through the center this is not exact so I have a general figure for my hyperbola it will look here's the vertex it's going to look something like this and here's my second branch again the asymptotes that line that the branches never get to, but get closer and closer to. Now finally I need to graph my uh, foci. Let's say the square root of 113 is about 10 and a half. So I'm going to mark off from here 7, 8, 9, 10. Here's one of my foci. 7, 8, 9, 10. And here's my other focus. And then I'm going to label these two. Uh, this is going to be negative square root of 113. Uh, 0. And this is going to be positive square root of 113, 0. Okay, on to the final question. Um, write an equation, uh, I should say an equation of the hyperbola of foci 0, 5, 0, negative 5, and vertices 0, 3, uh, 0, negative 3. So we can see, we know the foci and the vertices are on the transverse axis. So we know that the transverse axis is going to be a vertical transverse axis. So I'm going to have parabolas facing up or down, facing up and down. So let's graph the vertices. 0, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. Here's a, uh, one of the vertex, or the vertices 1, 2, 3 down. Again, these are A units from the center. And then I'm going to graph my foci. Let's put those in blue. I have 0, positive 5. So here's 1, 0, uh, negative 5 for the other. So it says write an equation. But when you write an equation, you really want to get a picture of it to make sure that you're accomplishing 
the right task. So it's always best for you to start writing equations, even though they're not asking, I'm sorry, graphing, even though they're not asking you to write the, uh, or to graph the hyperbola. So the next thing we want to do uh, is to identify our B value, because that's going to give us our slope for uh, the asymptotes. And what we do, in this case, we realize that C squared is equal to A squared <coughs> plus B squared. Well, we have C, the C value is going to be 5. So the units from the center to the foci is 5 units. So I know that 25 is going to be equal to A squared. Well, I know my A value is 3, because they give it to me here. 9 plus the B value, which must be 16. So B has to be plus or minus 4. Then I recall from our formula the, the value of the slope of the asymptote uh, when we have a vertical transverse axis is going to be slope is plus or minus, in this case, A over B. And when it's horizontal, it's actually B over A. So I have plus or minus A over B. My A value is going to be 3. And my B value is going to be 4. So I have... Uh, and the A obviously does not always have to equal the, um, have to be greater than the B value. So in this case, it's less than. Uh, so here I have the uh, slope of 3, 4. So now I go up 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, over 4, up 3 to the left, 4, uh, down 3 to the left, 4, down 3 to the right, 4. I have my points to mark off my asymptote. Here it is. Oh, there we go. Okay, and now I'm going to draw my branches, which, of course, as I mentioned, is not necessary for this problem, but just make sure to give us a picture of what we're doing. So I have my branches of the hyperbola. All right, so I know that I have a vertical transverse axis. My y squared value is first. I don't have any translations centers at the origin, so it's going to be y minus. 0 squared, so just y squared. And then my a value is 3, so a squared is going to be 9. This is a hyperbola, so this is going to be a negative sign. Other val variable x squared, my b value is 4. b squared is 16, and that's going to equal 1. So this is my equation for this hyperbola.